Okay, so welcome to Math Storia, and let's solve this problem. So find the standard equation of an ellipse that satisfies the given conditions. So we have this given vertex and covertex. So first, we need to graph this ellipse using this given. So from vertex, this one is x and this one is y. So x is positive 6, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then y is negative 4. So negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, then negative 4. So this is now the coordinate of the vertex. Then from the covertex, this one is x, this one is y, so x is negative 2. Negative 1, negative 2. Then y is positive 1. So this is now the coordinate of the covertex. Now take note on this graph, we can have a vertical ellipse or a horizontal ellipse. So for vertical ellipse, vertex is in vertical form. And if we're going to extend this covertex, so this point of intersection is the center. Then for horizontal ellipse, so this vertex is in horizontal form. Then also this uh, covertex, so this point of intersection is the center. But since on an ellipse, A is greater than B, and A, that's from center, to vertex, then B, that's from center to covertex. So therefore, for vertical ellipse, center to vertex, this one is A. Center to covertex, this one is B. Then for horizontal ellipse, center to vertex, this one is A. And center to covertex, this one is B. Then observe that in a vertical ellipse, A is not greater than B. So therefore, this ellipse is not a vertical ellipse. Then for horizontal ellipse, A is greater than B or A is longer than B. So therefore, this ellipse is a horizontal ellipse. So formula for the horizontal ellipse, that's x minus h to the power 2 over a squared. So a squared is the denominator of x squared. Then plus y minus k to the power 2 over b squared equals 1. So this is now the formula for the horizontal ellipse. So to solve now for the standard equation, we need to locate first the coordinate of the center. Since center is the point of intersection, so therefore x is equal to negative 2. Then y, y is negative 4. So this is now the coordinate of the center. So from the center, h is negative 2 and k is negative 4. Then to solve for A, so A is center to vertex, so we're going to use this counting method. So from center to vertex, we're going to use this point to solve for A. So in counting, you start counting on the next point. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So therefore, A is equal to 8. Then to solve for B, the center to covertex. So center to covertex. So we're going to use this point to solve for B. So uh, using counting method, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So therefore, B is equal to 5. Since we have now all the values, the h, the k, 
the A and the B. So we can solve now the standard equation of this ellipse. So substitute now all the values. So we have X minus H since H is negative 2. So therefore plus 2 then to the power 2 over A squared. A is 8. So this one is H squared. Then plus Y minus K. Since K is negative 4, so therefore plus 4, then to the power 2 over B squared and B is 5, then squared equals 1. Then simplify, so X plus 2 to the power 2 over this 8 squared is 64, plus Y plus 4 to the power 2 over 5 squared, this one is 25 then equals 1. So this is now the standard equation of this ellipse.